Ooh, it's a Tiffany lamp. Oh, I guess I have expensive taste. My goodness. Hey everyone, so we are currently here at Ben's Antiques here in Douglasville, Georgia. I haven't been here in a while, so I'm pretty excited. Usually always end up walking out with a few things for resale and maybe my own personal collection. So let's get into it, shall we? Now, as soon as you step in, you are greeted by a huge wall full of just a little bit of everything. So much fun to look at. Peep Mr. Frankenstein, he made his way out here. Uh, highly recommend. I think a lot of this comes from one vendor who has quite the exquisite collection, if I do say so myself. typically walk all the way down here and then kind of work my way weaving back in and out so let's see what we can find now I am a really big fan of this lamp oh that's really quite cool oh it's a Tiffany lamp oh I guess I have expensive taste my goodness that's gorgeous. And it looks like they have a little plant sanctuary in here. All right, and I might be doing a voiceover just because music's a little bit louder in here and I don't want to have to get my video copywritten. Copywritten? That's the word, right? Oh, wow. That is actually really pretty. Oh my gosh. This, I'm gonna look it up. I think this one is newer. Oh, made in Spain. But then again, I have no idea about glass. So let's look this up real quick. Okay, yeah, I cannot. I'm going to keep walking. I may come back to it. I see like very similar ones, um, but I can't find much about this decanter. Uh, I've seen the ones with more of the exaggerated stem on top, but I'm going to keep it here. Hopefully this isn't a huge regret. I may just end up coming back for it, but let's keep on going. So I did notice, let's see, they got some pottery. Oh, I did love this little juice glass set. Those are really, really cool. Oop. And the tumblers are pretty fun as well. And they did have a bunch of this. Is it Frostine? Oh, very cute. And ooh, of course, I'm always drawn to a cute ceramic. China, I think, a little too new for me. I did love this. <laughs> Honestly. Tell me why, as is. Like, tell me why I kind of need this. What is as is about it, though? As is. And I don't even know the resale market for this. Honestly, I'm like, oh, has a chip right here. I'm almost, like, tempted to get it, actually. It's fun. It's kitsch. Uh, even if I don't sell it, it'd be a good gift for for someone, I'm sure. Oh, cute little bird. Um, little vintage ceramic bird. Six bucks doesn't seem too bad of a price. Oh my gosh, I do love the little candles. I never really pick them up too often just because I'm afraid they'll melt in shipping. Oh wow, look at this, that's, that is a mug. Antique German raised design mug, $29. That's pretty fantastic. Ooh, I am kind of drawn to, oh, that's, wait. 
world globe. Oh, that's actually pretty amazing. This is a notepad holder. Or a notepad. Oh, yeah, this is a notepad and a pen. Again, kind of wacky, but I think that's pretty awesome, honestly. Ooh, okay, so maybe some promising kitchen here. Let's see. All right. Looks like we got some vintage mixed in with some contemporary. I'm kind of drawn to obviously a kitsch planter for 13 isn't honestly a horrible price on him okay i'm kind of drawn to this guy in here so he is like a shaver okay and it looks like he might be a bank too he is really unique he is pretty cool. Voiceover Cole here. Unfortunately, the music got a little bit too loud, so here we are. Uh, stepped in this booth, they had a few cute vintage pieces. Obviously, I was drawn to the little cookie container. Thought that was quite darling. And then I think in the corner of my eye, I ended up seeing this chip and dip uh, bowl set, which I think was 50 but really pretty, if I do say so myself. And as you can see, there is a lot to look at. So let's keep going. I did spot this great coat. It was repurposed if it was true vintage. I probably would have thought about it, but I think the inside liner was replaced. Now this vendor, now I will say I've never picked up anything out of this booth, but I always love to look at this booth. Uh, I. I'm always so impressed by people who really put the time and energy in booths. Unfortunately, you see it less and less over time, but this vendor definitely has it going on. And I think we're gonna end off with this great picture I spotted. It was only 16 bucks, which wasn't bad. So keep watching, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. I will see you in the next.